what's up guys, it's Jordan here, back again with another Shadowverse video. Um, so the nerfs are finally alive, um, so Mysteria got nerfed. Dragon, I, I don't really consider it really getting nerfed, uh, Sword lost the Lion General. Um, but a card did get buffed this, this patch, and that is Green Glen Axeman. Um, he went from 7 cost to 6 cost now, so being a 6 cost 6-5 six with Rush is actually quite good. He has really good stats, and then of course he gives you that passive to get you that end game damage. So um, the Axeman, he wasn't actually been being played in the recent Forest decks, um, just because there wasn't really a spot for him. But now um, he's back in the deck. Instead, we did end up cutting the Glen Elise Omen. Um, I think that the reason why you want to make the cut is just because you don't want to have like both Axeman and Glen Elise in your deck because then your deck becomes a bit too expensive and could get some clunky sometimes. Force is a, um, especially recently, Force has just been decks that have just been spamming out really cheap cards and playing and using that kind of combo ability. So like, uh, you don't want to have too many expensive cards in the deck. Um, so this is kind of like an aggro temple deck. Um, it's not really playing any expensive cards. Not really. It's not playing any new Ultra Spirit cards aside from the Lila. Um, or Lila. Lila, she replaced the Leafman. I think she is a better version of the Leafman just because she her enhance comes down one turn earlier and she gives a health buff to all your followers. So she could really help snowball your board quicker than uh, Leafman does. And right now I think, um, well the meta hasn't settled yet, but Leafman, I guess he could be good if there's like a lot of um, damage, uh, effect damage that could happen on your AoE, AoE effect damage. But right now, I think you don't need him, and there's not too much space for him. Instead, we have Sylvan Justice. Um, I think Sylvan Justice is just, it's always been a good card. Um, got two copies of Tia. Don't want to have three, because she's kind of hard to activate sometimes. Of course, we're playing Liza, just a really strong uh, legendary card. that pretty much been put into every forest deck. Uh, we got Lily. Just some more buffing ways because your board does go wide, your board doesn't get very tall, they're all very fragile fallers, but you could get them buffed up and kill your opponent quite quickly. So yeah, um, I think this deck has some really good potential this format, especially because your Liza, um, she plus ones for you and she's going to be pulling your ex Axemen for that consistent late game damage, so the deck is quite consistent. Um, so yeah, we'll see how Force is going to get in the upcoming weeks. So if you enjoyed the video guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below on what you think will be good uh, this update. Or do you think Forest is going to be good? Do you think Nerfs are not really going to affect much of the meta? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Okay, we're playing against a rune. I wonder if he's just stubborn on playing Mysteria. Wants to see if Mysteria is still good or if he's playing like a rune, uh, dirt deck. Because Dirt is like an archetype that still exists right now. Um, I haven't actually tested it myself, but I've been seeing some players play it. It did, um, it did top eight in the Shadowverse Open, so it is a relevant deck. But what's my turn to? Storage Falcon or Fairy Whisperer? Mm. I think with the Lila draw, I want to play the Fairy Whisperer now, just because next turn I want to be playing two Fallers. So I can set up my Lilla better. Because if I play Storage Falconer, I'm kind of... I guess it's about the same, actually. No, it was the same. Except now I don't have a 1-3 over a 1-1. One, one. Okay. I'm just bad. I could have, like, done a value trade. I don't think I would do a value... Would I do it? No, yeah, the value trade would have been better. So I just misplayed on turn 2. <laughs> You got on 3, I could just play the Fairy Whisperer plus the Fairy I get back in the hand anyways. So it was just better to play the higher stat and fall later on turn 2. But I digress. You have to be evil next turn, so like, do I want to take some value trades is the question. Because I'm definitely Lyle in here. So turn 4, he could play... Um, Greya. So what's the best way? So if I go all face, he value trades my Lila. He evolves Greya to kill the Falconer. 
he kills the goblin. So I have uh, two two left. But I push six damage, or I tri I lose four damage this turn, and instead he can still remove two things. So it's either removing two things or three things, except I'm losing four damage. I rather push the. I think I rather push the damage. I think. Uh, well, luckily he didn't have to grey at this turn. So that's good. That means one more follower is sticking. So Metra here is just good. No really... Uh, okay, Lily. I would have to play Fairy and then Tia and then Lily to give everything plus one. So I'd be able to push five. I can evolve the Lily to push seven. That might just be good because then I can set up Lisa with my Raptor next turn. So I go Fairy Tia Lily. Everything is plus one. Then I evolve to buff up my I don't know like my no I probably buffed the goblin three five seven yeah I do want to set up the two turn lethal I think if things go wrong I could just and what do I evolve here I can make a five five goblin that's scary. Because if I make two three threes or two three health fallers, they're that's like the easy breaking point for Mysterio to kill. And like my board's not that weak. I have four fallers. He only has five play points, so there's only so much he can do here. Hmm. Well, he could get a bunch of wards, but all right, he's just going to see. That's a wow. The sec dragon. Okay. I mean, probably just Cassius Dragon. That deck didn't really get worse, so... I think we could hard maul all this for a one drop. We could keep the rain, possibly, but... Mm. It's not like... Rain isn't great on 2, it's just a vanilla 2-2. Two -two. I mean, he could deal with his Servant of Disdain, but... Which I guess was worth considering, but if I play a one drop... It doesn't... I get... Ah, I don't know. I mean, if he plays a server to stay in here, we could deal with it with, um... Either the Raptor or Lila Insect Lord. I'd probably play the Raptor, because... Um... I don't have too much gas in my hand, so I'd probably want Lila and four. Lila? Lila, Lila... What? How do you guys pronounce it? Lila? Lila? Anyways, there was no consideration that turn. <laughs> Just ramping. Can't evil this turn yet, so I should get a clean uh, Lila turn. Might be able to just blow him out. <laughs> just cause I yeah, I mean, like, he might just die on turn 5, honestly. <laughs> What's he even gonna do? Because I have 4 followers on the board. They're all beefy. Might be a concede. Like, what's his play? He can play Omen of Disdain. Evolve it to kill the Raptor. On average, it kills 2 damage off the board. So I have 3, I push 5. Then he's at 3. Okay, I mean Roy's just like... Just like, um, Omen. He had to take the blade, right? Yeah. At least he's just dead on board. Well, he doesn't, enough, doesn't have enough play points to enhance, um, the Omen. I think we just play Rain as a 2-2. Next time we're just playing Glenn anyway. Um... I like having my... 
Water Fairy at 4. Because if I evolve my Lila at point at 3, then the, um, that's the spell, the spell would kill my Lila. The one play point spell, something disdain. Oh yeah, he's pretty dead. <laughs> it's like it's the nuts. I mean, to be fair, like nothing of the patch really affected this this game. <laughs> I just played really aggressive cards and won really quickly. So as a two play point one one. Mm, I don't think it's a good turn to insecure. Okay. Man, the fourth mirror. We're going second. Uh, Fairy Circle's not good. Going second. Insect Order is actually pretty good. And Storage, storage Falconer is also good because um, the three health could just trade into a lot of things. This is actually a pretty good hand, I would say. Oh, and he misses turn one. Oh, yeah. Got the Liza on three. The only problem, I guess, is going second, but I'm not too sure if going second is too bad in the mirror match because Force has a lot of good evils that help fight for board. And even though you are playing an aggro deck, like the board control is actually really relevant in the mirror match because in the aggro mirror, it just kind of becomes like a a board battle. So I can play my own Lisa here. I guess Sylvan Justice trade and play. Um, next turn I get to evil, but I can't evil the rain in any way. So my turn four is probably like Lisa plus the one drop I drew. The only way that I would be able to activate a rain next turn is if I kept the Sylvan Justice and then my trade my Water Fairy next turn. But then, like, his board shouldn't be wide enough where I need to rain next turn anyways. I could just play my own Lisa as well. And then next turn, Sylvan Justice Insect Lord? That, uh, that's also fine, actually. I think I'll go for that. Just push two. This might also make it the situation where rain becomes a powerful turn, turn for evil. Hmm. So I don't want to attack that Metro. Hmm. So rain's not that good here. I want to use the Insect Lord. So I could go Water Fairy, Fairy. Evolve the Water Fairy into his Liza and Insect Lord to clear the Metra. And then my board becomes wide. Yeah, it seems okay. There's no other way to activate my... Um, Insect Lord efficiently to kill the Metra. Because I want to push the 2 damage phase. And again, my rain's still going to be good if he has some way of fighting back. Carbuncle. Okay, so he's actually playing like the more uh, mid rangey combo ish forest deck. I mean, Carbuncle did heal him for two there. We're just so far ahead on board that I think we're good. Okay. Okay. I mean, he wants to fight for the board, so that's fair. I feel like using evil just turns a bit of a waste. I don't want to use my insect lord either, though. So I could Sylvan Justice trade. Do I just take value trades this turn? Hmm. I want to be pushing damage. I guess I could play the Raptor. Sylvan Justice Raptor is okay. Wouldn't mind actually trading in the Liza, so I could play Glenn next turn. 
Huh. That's interesting. Hmm, that's actually really interesting if I want to trade in this Lisa, because he's not ever killing it for a few turns. Questions if I even want to just one one or let him trade into the raptor. Because I get protect two damage, but I get two damage in with his fairy anyways. I'll just go face. I could possibly um evolve the fairy as well. Why is he healing so much? The pro see the problem with Glenn is that I lose a lot of pressure this turn. So I'm giving him a lot of time. But what are my options? I can still injustice. Play two followers with it. One, two, three. And range not too good either. Okay, I guess we have to go on. <laughs> Mm, I don't like it, but my other plays just suck. He already healed for four, which I think is a lot. Mm, that's a mistake in ordering. <laughs> Both followers have been, I see. Actually, I might go triple fairies here because next turn I could play Lisa plus if I draw the Lil Lila, it would be really good. If I played the Liza over three one drops, like he what? There's a high chance he won't even kill the Liza, so I wouldn't get the second Glen anyways. There's a little. He can't sneaky kill me off of Phil as his turn. So I think this way, like... The other consideration was if I if I evolved Aliza to go the rain, and then I missed- I lose 2 damage, so he goes- to, so he's at 7. And 7's like pretty high, I can't kill him in the next couple turns like that. So this is kind of risky because I leave 9 power on his board, but he's only played one fella. He's got three in his hand. So I guess he can make one attack twice. But he's got 13 damage. And like he can't kill me with a Va white Venera yet. Like he doesn't have enough play for Wait, was that randomly buffing? That card? Give an ally Why didn't he just buff the one that could attack twice? No, oh, he wants to trade. I 
I mean, how does he ever win by doing this? So now he's dead. Because I have... Yeah, he's just dead. 